everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 27th and 28th of march 2022 which organization successfully test fired the surface to surface brahmos supersonic cruise missile so defense research and development organization that is drdo successfully test fired the surface to surface brahmos supersonic cruise missile in the andaman and nicobar island so the extended range missile hit its target with pinpoint accuracy and one of the missiles earlier misfired due to a technical malfunction from an indian air force unit during a command air staff inspection right and we fired this missile into which neighboring country answer is pakistan right so let's see some of the important questions regarding missile recently north korea has tested the railway borne missile and it is a ballistic missile so railway borne missile means the missile is launched from a train okay next news is recently iran has unveiled a new missile called khyber buster so simply you can be asked that khyber buster missile belong to which country answer is iran also which country recently test fired the intercontinental ballistic missile named as vaesong 17 answer is north korea okay then kinzel is the name of the hypersonic ballistic missile of which country answer is russia and recently russia has fired it against ukraine right which country is the host of the bimstek summit in 2022 So what does BIMSTEC stands for? Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. And this summit is hosted by Sri Lanka in 2022. So BIMSTEC charter and BIMSTEC master plan for transport connectivity are proposed to be signed during the Sri Lanka summit. And talking about BIMSTEC, it was established in the year 1997 and it comprises of total seven member states which are these bangladesh bhutan india nepal sri lanka myanmar and thailand okay now talking about some of the important summits and conferences leaders of g7 nato nato means north atlantic treaty organization and european union have gathered for the nato summit and aim of this emergency meeting was to draw plans to increase the pressure on president vladimir putin as the russian invasion of ukraine continues right and where does the headquarters of nato lie it is in brussels in belgium now next is ministry of civil aviation and fiki have jointly organized asia's largest event on civil aviation and the title of this event was wings india 2022 So this event focuses on new business acquisition, investment, policy formation, and regional connectivity. So it was being held from twenty fourth to twenty seventh of March, twenty twenty two, at Begum Pet Airport in Hyderabad. And the theme for this event was India at the rate seventy five, new horizon for aviation industry. Okay. Now next news is 
लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर मनोज सिन्हा हैज रिसेंटली एड्रेस्ड द गल्फ कंट्रीज इन्वेस्टमेंट समिट एट श्रीनगर एंड एम इज टू प्रोवाइड अ प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर द फॉरन बिजनेस टू एक्सप्लोर अ होस्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर राइट विच इंडियन स्टेट और यूनियन टेरिटरी इंप्लीमेंट्स द मुख्यमंत्री पार्क सौंदर्यकरण योजना सो दिस इज अ स्कीम बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ डेल्ही एंड एज पार्ट ऑफ द स्कीम द डेल्ही चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल हैज डायरेक्टेड द ऑफिशल्स टू ट्रांसफॉर्म सेवेंटीन सिटी फॉरेस्ट इन द नेशनल कैपिटल इन एन एरिया ऑफ अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड एकर्स टू वर्ल्ड क्लास लेवल फॉरेस्ट सो फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पार्क्स आर बींग ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इन क्लाबरेशन विद फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रेसिडेंट वेलफेयर एसोसिएशंस अंडर द कम्युनिटी पार्क्स इनिशिएटिव ओके नो लेट्स डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जल शक्ति मिनिस्टर गजेंद्र सिंह शेखावत हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च द सुजलाम टू पॉइंट ओ कैंपेन फॉर ग्रे वॉटर मैनेजमेंट वॉट इज ग्रे वॉटर इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ वेस्ट वॉटर फ्रॉम नॉन टॉयलेट प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम्स एंड द थीम फॉर दिस ईयर्स कैंपेन इज ग्राउंड वॉटर मेकिंग द इनविजिबल विजिबल ओके एंड अंडर द कैंपेन द गवर्नमेंट विल मोबलाइज द कम्युनिटीज पंचायत्स स्कूल्स to undertake the grey water management okay so you can be asked that what is the main objective of sujlam campaign 2.0 answer b grey water management okay now recently we have seen that credit guarantee scheme for subordinate debt has been extended up to 31st of march 2023 now recently chatisgarh government has introduced kaushalya matritva yojana and this will provide help in the parenting and education of girls okay so on the birth of second daughter women recipients are eligible for a lump payment help of 5000 rupees under this scheme right now apart from all these things niti ayog's atal innovation mission announced a partnership with snap inc to promote augmented reality skill development among the indian youth and talking about snap inc it is a global camera firm whose camera plays a transformative role in how people view the world around them by merging physical and digital world fine who has been awarded the able prize 2022 so the able prize for the year 2022 has been awarded to professor dennis pernell sullivan and it is awarded annually to the outstanding mathematicians so this award was established by the norway government in 2002 and it is managed by the norway academy of science and letters so professor sullivan was awarded the prize for his contributions to topology in particular its algebraic geometric and dynamical aspect now can you tell me who has won the cyprian four years prize for the year 2021 along with two other awardees you have to name that indian mathematician now talking about some of the important awards recently mario marcel has won the governor of the year award at the central banking awards 2022 and he is the governor of the central bank of chile next is Francis Kerr has become the first African to win the Pritzker Prize 2022 and this award is the highest honor in the field of architecture okay next is Carolina Biloska from Poland has won the title of Miss World 2021 the Neeraj Chopra claimed the sports star of the year male award at the 2022 sports star aces award while meera bai chanu who claimed the silver medal at the tokyo olympics received the sports star of the year female award in the same event right now can you tell me which bank has recently won the asian bank of the year award at ifr 
Asia Award 2021. Do let me know in the comments. India has achieved which milestone in exports in the financial year 2021-22? So India has recently achieved its target of reaching $400 billion in export in a financial year for the very first time. And this success is achieved 9 days ahead of schedule. So India's goods exports in financial year 21 were $298.1 billion. And India's exports in April to February 2021-22 were $374.81 billion. Against $256.55 billion dollars during the previous year so this witnessed a growth of 46.09 percent right now apart from it ministry of commerce and industry recently released the monthly goods export report of the country and according to the report in december 2021 india exported 37.29 billion dollar of goods and this export demand for goods such as petroleum items engineering products gems and jew were the highest in december 2021 now recently niti ayog has released the export preparedness index 2021 and in this gujarat was at the top position and then it was followed by maharashtra and at third place there was karnataka so this index basically examines the state's preparation in terms of export potential and performance, right? Pushkar Singh Dhami sworn in as the chief minister of which Indian state or union territory? So BJP leader Pushkar Singh Dhami took oath as the chief minister of Uttarakhand for his second consecutive term. So along with him, Eight cabinet ministers were also administered the oath and with this Pushkar Singh Dhami became the 12th chief minister of the state Uttarakhand. Now let's see some of the recent appointments. First of all, N. Biren Singh has become the chief minister of Manipur once again for his second consecutive term. Now Bhagwant Man has become the chief minister of Punjab recently. Also, Ziomara Castro has become the first female president of the country, Honduras. After that, Daniel Ortega has become the president of Nicaragua country for his fourth consecutive term. After that, Santi Shri Dhulipudi Pandit has recently been appointed as vice chancellor of JNU. And why she is important? Because she is the first vice chairman of this university. Okay. When is the international day for the right to the truth concerning gross human rights violations and for the dignity of victims observed? So on 24th of March, the international day for the right to the truth concerning the gross human rights violations and for the dignity of victims is observed. And this day was proclaimed in the year 2010 by the United Nations General Assembly and it pays tribute to the Arnulfo Romero who fought against the violations of human rights in El Salvador who was murdered on 24th of March 1980. Nothing very relevant, only thing you have to remember is this day is observed on 24th of March. Now International Day of Solidarity with detained and Missing staff members is marked each year on 25th of March. And this day is marked on the anniversary of the abduction of Alec Collett, who is the former journalist and who was working for the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East in 1985. So Convention on the Safety of United Nations and associated personnel was adopted by the United Nations in the year 1994. Now we celebrate World Poetry Day on 21st of March and aim is to support linguistic diversity through poetic expression and to increase the opportunities for 
endangered languages to be heard right and now international day of forest is observed on 21st of march and we celebrate this day to increase the awareness about the role of forest in sustaining lives in the planet and the theme for this year was forest and sustainable production as well as consumption okay can you tell me when do we observe the wetlands day do let me know in the comments who is the first para athlete to receive the padma bhushan in india so devendra jhajhariya became the first para athlete to receive the padma bhushan in india and padma bhushan is the country's third highest civilian honor so devendra jhajhariya has won many of the paralympic medals including his first gold at the 2004 paralympics in athens then second gold at the 2016 rio games and a silver medal at the 2020 tokyo olympics also do remember that avni likhara who is a para shooter was awarded the padma shri award right now talking about the padma awards the president has announced the padma awards 2022 on the occasion of 73rd republic day recently and 128 people have been honored for this year okay so this award is given in three classes everybody knows this padma bhushan padma bhushan and padma shri so this year four padma bhushan was given 17 padma bhushan and 107 padma shri were there right so padma bhushan is given for extraordinary and distinguished service and it is the second highest civilian honor in india then padma bhushan is given for distinguished service of a high order and it is the third highest civilian honor and padma shri is given for extraordinary service and it is ranked at fourth in the order of civilian awards do remember that bhudda dev bhattacharji refused the padma bhushan award this year and he was the chief minister of west bengal and other two who refused the padma bhushan are second is legendary singer sandhya mukherjee who recently passed away and the third personality is tabla exponent anindya chatterjee okay so you have to remember the name of all these all these three personalities also don't forget that padma bhushan has been conferred on the global heads of microsoft and google means on satya nadella and sundar pichai then vaccine makers cyrus punawala from serum institute of india along with krishna ella and suchitra ella from bharat biotech they have also received this year's padma award also india's first chief of defense staff late bipin rawat was conferred with padma vibhushan right so these are some of the important things regarding padma awards what is the target set by india for establishing the new airports by 2025 so the union civil aviation minister jyotir aditya skindia announced that the central government has planned to set up as many as 220 new airports by 2025 and minister also announced that the cargo flights for perishable food items will be increased to 30% with 133 new flights in the coming years right now apart from it supreme court has recently ruled that the state legislatures have the power to tax the lotteries organized by other states and the lottery conducted by the government of india states or authorized by a state or conducted by the private entities is an activity falling within the nomenclature of betting and gambling so you can be asked that as per a recent supreme court order which institution has the power to tax the lotteries organized by other state answer would be the state government now kerala tourism has launched its 24 by 7 whatsapp chatbot named as maya to enable the tourists to access all information and updates about the tourism sector in the state so the dedicated whatsapp interactive service maya will serve as a virtual travel assistant for the tourist and this service can be obtained using whatsapp 
chat or by scanning the QR code. Why? For a hazel-free travel experience in the state. Okay. So you can be asked that which state has recently launched the 24 by 7 WhatsApp chatbot Maya for tourism information services. Answer would be the state Kerala. Also India's Ayush Ministry is set to conduct the world's first clinical trial to examine the efficacy of Ayurveda in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. And it added that the clinical trial will be conducted in accordance with the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceutical for Human Use Good Clinical Practice Guidelines. Fine. So simply I remember that the world's first clinical trial to examine the efficacy of Ayurveda in treating the rheumatoid arthritis has been commenced by India. Which Indian company has been named as an official sponsor of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022? So Indian Education Technology Company Baiju's has been named as an official sponsor of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. And this is scheduled to take place in Qatar from 21st of November to 18th of December 2022. So it will also create creative content with educational messages as part of this sponsorship, right? Now apart from it, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development that is OECD retained the estimate of India's real GDP at 5.5% in financial year 24 and this is lower than 8.1% in 2022 to 23. So in its economic outlook for Southeast Asia, China and India along with the Asian member countries is projected to grow 5.8% this year. Fine. Now apart from it, Biocon Limited Executive Chairman Kiran Mazumdar Shaw has been elected as the Fellow of Royal Society of Edinburgh, Scotland's National Academy. And this is one of the world's oldest and respected academic societies and fellows are elected to join arts, education, business and public life in recognition of their contribution in improving the world around them. Fine. So please remember this name as it has been elected as a fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, Scotland's National Academy. Fine. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzat Sana signing off.